Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with Psalm 14 today, and you saw the title of the video. Not the most pleasant of titles, so allow me a little bit of a chance to explain. Um, and I'm going to start with the title, the intro. I don't know what these things above verse 1 for the Psalms are called yet. I need to find a word for that. Anyway, to the chief musician, a Psalm of David. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. For almost all of us have heard that one at some point or another, right? Let's keep going. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek God. They have all turned aside. They have together become corrupt. There is none who does good, no, not one. And that's, that's a pretty open and shut case if you believe the Bible to be the Word of God. And that's a pretty classic line you hear from almost any evangelical minister out there. I'll say pretty, actually, any, I don't care what the Christian denomination is, Protestant, Catholic, Orthodox, Pentecostal, Evangelical, Charismatic. If it's a Christian church, the theme, the theme is very, very united in the fact that human beings are sinful, are evil. Sin, in the most... In the clearest form of the definition of the word, it mean, it's kind of like, think of this. You're shooting an arrow, you have a bullseye you want to hit, you shoot it, and it misses the target. It just, it, it goes somewhere else. Maybe it, you know, maybe it uh, hit somewhere around the bullseye, maybe it hit somewhere in the white, maybe it didn't hit altogether. But no matter how close you got, you just didn't hit it, you didn't get it. That's essentially what the word sin means. At least, uh, I want to say the Greek form of it. Feel free to research behind me. I'm sure there are plenty of articles on Google to help you look that up. And in the Hebrew, I don't think the word for sin is too incredibly far off. But more than just missing the mark, we've missed God. We've missed His holiness. We've missed His commandments, His laws, His statutes, His way, which is love. Human beings don't think in a loving, godly way by nature. We think... Well, quite, I'll say quite horrible things. We think about, you know, what we can do for ourselves, how we can get over on other people, how we can get revenge on someone who's wronged us, how we can take something from other people. A lot of, now, are there good thoughts in the mix there? You know, how can I help someone? How can I serve someone? You know, I love my parents. I love my wife. I love my children. Yes, those are in there as well. We were originally formed and created in God's image. It doesn't change the fact that all that bad stuff is still there. And just like when you're saying before the judge, if you've committed a crime, all of your good behavior, all of your good works, they don't cancel out the bad thing that you've done. You've still done the bad thing. And there's still a price to pay. And that's where, that's where all of my 30-minute messages come in. That's where the first part of the name of my YouTube channel comes in. Jesus He's the answer to that. That's why he came to earth. That's why he died on the cross, so that all of the sins that we've committed can be forgiven. But according to this Bible passage, it's very, very clear we start off in a very bad place. Every single one of us has sinned, that's, and that's gone against the nature of God, and that is evil. That's wrong. It's not just a little mistake. It's not just a little oopsie. It's evil. It's morally wrong. So... Not the most pleasant of messages, but nonetheless, it is the truth, and a very important truth, especially if one is to become a Christian. That's something that people need to understand about themselves. So thank you guys very much for hearing me out. Um, remember, Jesus is the answer to that. If you're interested, I love you, and God bless.